All right, you guys, it's Elevated here, coming at you with June's poetry. So we'll just jump right in. Um, title is Moon's Boon in June, which is uh, a line from uh, Jack Kerouac. <laughs> really funny. He's actually a huge inspiration in a lot of um, my poetry. I don't know if I've mentioned that before, but yeah. Um, so today I'm not going to have a nature video because it's June in Texas and it is hot as balls out here. So we're going to do another, um, artist, um, what do you call that? Like an artist feature? Yeah. Vasily, Vasily Kandinsky, uh, one of my favorite artists, really abstract. Um, but yeah, <clears throat> there's a self-portrait of him right there. His art is a, a whole bunch of, um, like geometry and contrast and stuff like that. It's really cool. But yeah, let's just jump right in. First one, stop being caricatures of yourselves. Be real people. It, it, it irks me so much when I see people who are just like, like they play into their own stereotypes so much. Like it's, it's, you're, it's like you're not expressing yourself in any individual fashion. You're literally just like defaulting to a very basic, um, caricature of what you think a person should be like it's so annoying um <clears throat> and i chose this picture because it's like it almost looks like a caricature of uh kandinsky's works because this is like the most unique of his <laughs> funnily enough this is the most unique of his um drawings but um it just doesn't look it looks like it looks like um like a um like a, um, what am I trying to say? Like someone's tried to do a, um, wow, I'm blanking out. Like someone tried to do a, a, a Kandinsky work, but like on, on paint or something. So I, I just thought that was really funny. All forms are divided and defined by unique asymmetries. Um, so the only difference between one form and another is the, the asymmetries that they have. Music displays several dimensions of awareness and perception. It's one of the things I really like music. Like there's when you talk about going up in music, that could be um, getting louder. That could be going up in pitch. That could be going up in tempo. Like there's 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 so, like sound. There's so many different layers in sound. Rebellious as a monkey in a birdcage. Only freedom's peace. Um, I think I had an earlier um, haiku that was like, um, rattle thy cages. And this kind of is in the same vein of like, we're like, yeah, we're spiritual beings, but we're like, we're stuck in these physical mortal bodies. And at times it really does feel like... <laughs> Like, I'm a monkey in a birdcage, just, like, rattling the fucking cage and trying to break out. But, yeah, it is what it is. <clears throat> Grand Mastered Hymns Vibe. Music is prayer, an immersion in selfless beauty. Histories gaze, traditions evolve. Man sees only the present. It, it, it's really funny to me when people are like, oh, the good old times, and they're referring to a specific, like, decade in the entirety of human history as if that was the best crowning achievement of, of humanity. <laughs> really funny. <laughs> people are so, like, limited in their perception. It's hilarious. Discord. And I mis intentionally misspelled it, too, because I had a very, like theme of music this month but yeah anxious subtle unease of happiness expected juxtaposed by happiness experienced um it's always like um i think i mentioned it before too the cloyingly sweet where something is like just slightly too sweet we're like yeah you were craving sugar before that but then you eat something that's just slightly too sweet and then it's just like it's just not satisfying <clears throat> oh these next three are actually i wrote a i wrote a whole um a whole long poem and i'll probably do a feature of it in one of my later videos 
Um, but yeah. Urbanity is insectious. Sweaty, fleshly beings trancing and plotting. Virtues parasitic with ravenous lust. Blindly wafted along pheromonic trails of greedy dreams and desires. Uh, I love it. I love it. I am not out there. I am not in there. I can only be found now. Why are car washes and bake sales the only practical experience of mercantilism we're allowed in school? There's a lot of things I can uh, that I don't like about school. I just think that's like we live in such a capitalist society, but the only time you're able to like actually learn about capitalism in school, like get practical hands-on experience of it is car washes and bake sales. Come on. <laughs> like that's so <laughs> it teaches you nothing. Other than you have a product and you look for a consumer to buy it. <laughs> I think I have like two or three of these. Um, like I said before, <laughs> uh, being in love kind of like quote unquote poisoned the art. But um, reflecting back on it, I'm looking at these and I'm like, you know... Um, while a lot of these things were, um, like, romantic in intention at first, like, you can look at a lot of these things as, um, spiritual in a way, instead of, like, being like, oh, I love you, and you're talking about an external person in the world, you can flip that and be like, you're trying to love, like, your higher self, or, uh, the one true God, or something like that, so, um, I actually have a whole bunch of, um, lyrics I'm going to go through too to kind of uh, show that too but I think there's this one and then one other one and then we'll look at those so yeah the melody of your presence illumines my soul no liberation from the tumultuous affairs of life like the warmth of your company yeah so we'll go ahead and look at these lyrics um, one of the things that really helped me through like um, my last really bad breakup was like listening to heartbreak songs and then just, like, flipping the script and being like, oh, I'm not singing about an external person. I'm singing about, um, you know, my soul, my spirit, my true self, uh, and my connection to God, this and that. So we're going <laughs> to – I'll show you, like, the kind of, like, the, m m the mental process that goes through my head when I'm listening to these songs in that state of mind. So Faithfully by Journey um, – being a part ain't easy on this love affair. Two strangers learn to fall in love again. I get the joy of rediscovering you. Oh, girl, you stand by me. I'm forever yours faithfully. <laughs> I would sing this stuff. I, I'll try to sing it, maybe. We'll see. Um, being a part ain't easy on this love affair. Two strangers learn to fall in love again. I get the joy of read. Oh, yeah, it's just another re Wow, it went twice. I did not mean to do that. But, yeah. Um, two strangers, like, um, what is that? Um, like the midlife crisis that a lot of people get, um, it's like they're, they're disconnected from their spiritual self. And that midlife crisis is kind of like a wake up call for their ego to like get back in touch with their spirit. So being apart ain't easy. It is not easy in this life to be apart from your higher self. Um, can Out Falling in Love by Elvis Presley. Uh, like a river flows, surely to the sea. Darling, so it goes. Some things are meant to be. Take my hand, take my whole life too. For I can't help falling in love with you. Um, <laughs> one of my issues with religion growing up was always like, why, why are we, why are we supposed to like sacrifice our lives to this God character? But it's like, um. It's, it's, it's not like you sacrificing your life for God. It's like your higher self and God. It's your higher self sacrificing your egoic material life in praise of the one true God. Um, but yeah. So yeah, take my hand, take my whole life too. Like love isn't something unless you give your all to it. And in the same way, the love of like the love you should feel i guess for like your your higher self 
the connection between that, like, you should be, um, you should devote (laughs) your material existence to your higher self, because anything else is, um, well, actually, I mentioned it in my video, too, uh, um, anything else is just loving the world and not loving, um, God, basically. So dive by Ed Sheeran. I could fall or I could fly here in your aeroplane and I could live, I could die hanging on the words you say. Um, And it's kind of like both, like your your egoic self, material self, like absolutely could live and die off of. um, Your egoic self could live off of um, um, the words that your higher self says, but your higher self could die hanging on, like, the desires of the egoic material self. Um, so yeah. So don't call me baby unless you mean it. Don't tell me you need me if you don't believe me. Let me know the truth before I dive right into you. Um, I would say this one's more, more so the higher spirit talking to the ego. So like if you if you're not gonna commit entirely to me, then don't don't even try. <laughs> it's not gonna work. <laughs> basically. Uh Love by Kendrick Lamar. Uh well obviously like <laughs> I don't need to read that. I wanna be with you, I wanna be with you. Love love me, just love me, just love me. Um If if you're looking at it from like a material like talking to somebody else, it's so possessive and like toxic almost in a sense but um looking at it from from this perspective of like the higher self um or the ego talking to the higher self like that's really the more um righteous way to look at it stand by me um oh this one reminds me of um yea though i walk through the valley of the shadow of death um i shall have no fear um, because God is with me or something like that, but yeah, and this is basically like, um, living in this life is the valley of the shadow of death, so it, you can kind of get, um, glimpses of that in these lyrics, when the night has come and the land is dark and the moon is the only light we'll see, I won't be afraid just as long as you stand by me, Uh, If the sky that we look upon should tumble and fall, or the mountain should crumble to the sea, I won't cry, I won't shed a tear, just as long as you stand by me. Um, And uh, I talk about this in my um, being in the world, but not of the world. Actually, I talk about it more in my um, past video, too, where it's like, um, don't concern yourself with this world. Like Like, you're not here to save the world. You're here to find your own salvation so yeah um thought that was pretty cool and then i'm yours by jason mraz um i guess what i've been saying is there ain't no better reason to rid yourself of vanities and just go with the seasons it's what we aim to do but i won't hesitate no more no more it it cannot wait i'm yours um rid yourself of the vanities and just go with the seasons Uh, i talk about it in my video this month where it's like um just going with the flow um go placidly amid amid the noise and haste yeah (laughs) so yeah that's kind of like the the mindset that i had really helped a lot getting through uh, a rough breakup but yeah any lyrics about love you can kind of twist and look at it as like either talking uh committing yourself to your higher spirit or committing yourself to god whichever one's easier for you to understand but yeah Regiment in sport is the reverie of the vitality of life. Um, this is actually a weird one because I actually don't like sport at all. I think it's <laughs> it's grandstanding. It's um, idolizing the human physical form, which is not perfect. But, yeah. Um, I was just like, oh, well, it, I guess it makes sense if it's like, um, it's like you're worshiping, you're, re- you're revering like the vitality of life itself or the vitality of the human body i should say but yeah reverence and awe and exultance of the self's expressions of humanity it is only an obligation to the self 
um, the higher self, I should say, that leads to retribution. Life, biology, chemistry, physics, intricately interwoven symphonies of matter and energy. Life, perception, sensation, consciousness, intricately interwoven symphonies of awareness and qualia. What is the form of perception? This one's hard. Like you, <laughs> okay, so you can have like mental formations of like, you can feel the form of like emotion. Like anger's a very like, um, like when I, when I feel anger, it's like, um, like a boiling pot of water almost like it's it's shaking and rattling and there's heat there's an element of heat to it um this and that um when we talk about vision like the form of vision let's like you you have two eyes and they're circular but for some reason like your your vision is almost like rectangular um in a sense um but like what is the form of perception itself um, very hard to grasp because that's like you don't you there's no form of well <laughs> there's no form of perception you perceive form but like what is yeah <laughs> and, and just a very weird concept to get your head around resistance towards death restlessness towards life dissatisfaction and dis-ease just let it be Seeking salvation from shackles of perception. Again, rattle thy cages. Monkey in a birdcage. How this formless center seeks a new position. I want to say this is the last one, maybe? No. We still got a couple more. Let's see how many more. Okay. Yeah. Every aspect of our lives is a commodity. Every aspect. Commodity, bought, sold, consumed, regretted. You are only as valuable as the highest bidder is willing to pay for you. Marketing things just flashy enough to disguise just how temporary it is. Wow, so I had two themes, I guess. Um, exaltation of music. And clearly I'm bashing capitalism <laughs> or um, not really capitalism, but like property and commodity and stuff like that. And that's it. Moon's boon in June. June's haikus. All right. Thanks, guys.